Good morning and welcome to Herb Oracle Podcast, botanical divination with herbs, essences, flowers, and trees with your host, Herbal Marie. Let's start the day off pulling some oracle cards and getting a few messages. We can shoot the shiitake in a spiritual way-ish. And if you follow me on Instagram, I'll post a pic of the cards at Herb Oracle. Thanks so much for joining me. Here we go. Hey, what's up? I'm just sitting here waiting for my dog to be done eating. You done? Can we get, can we just do a podcast? Thank God it's Thursday. Today we're going to hang out with the trees. I don't have to think about anything. All I have to do is say, what do the trees want to talk about today? So today we're going to hang out with our tree guides. Our tree, sometimes it sounds like I say tree guys. Um, those are the type of guys you want to be hanging out with, ladies. You want to be hanging out with the trees, okay? <laughs> They're true studs. All right, so um, on Thursdays we hang out, with, hang out with the trees quite a week, I guess. Uh, we hung out with Burdock, uh, going deep, um, being strong detoxifying our life, I guess. Sometimes we have to remember that detoxification is not always enjoyable. I mean, if you've ever like genuinely detox, like cut out sugar or cut out even grains and wheat, ooh, cut out coffee, you know that detoxing is sometimes uh, not the easiest thing to do. It really can be a challenge. So you gotta be tenacious, you gotta be strong, you gotta really convince yourself that like you chose this, like I am choosing to eliminate sugar from my diet for you know my well-being. And then once you get the cravings and the, sometimes leg cramps, like your body really gets hooked on stuff. So detoxifying your life, whether it's physical, emotional, energetic, might not be the easiest thing to do. But regardless, sometimes it just needs done. So anyways, seeing our problems as solutions. We had a lot of great affirmations from Burdock this week. Still do. Week's not over, right? Still work on your affirmations today. Still be allowing things to change. What else did the affirmations say? I am open to the blessings that come my way and find inner contentment each day. I release what is no longer needed and allow positivity to fill its space. Yeah, so as we detox the bullshit from our life, it's pretty important to replace it with something positive. Um, I see problems as solutions and I surrender to the process of deep change. Yeah, what's up? So um, I got a new Oracle deck in the mail, the Plant Spirit Oracle, it got here. So as I'm looking at my Burdock cards, I've now added another one in front of me. It's a uh, Burdock as in like a seed, a very young Burdock. So there's like the old seed heads around this image of a like a brand new burdock and the key words for this card are recovery rest and fallow which is kind of where my week is headed actually like like uh lots of resting this week uh recovery i mean in a constant state but yeah fallow like not much going on this week not too not too much interesting. I was supposed to have company tonight, but um my lover's blowing me off. So there, there's the news. Um so yeah, I mean and in a way I asked for that, I know. Cause even last night I was like, I feel like if he's not supposed to be here, something will come up and something came up. So did it come up because he's not supposed to be here with me tonight, or did it come up because I asked for something to come up? Because something intuitively inside me knows that maybe this is not in my highest good. And you know what's my worst fear about now that I have a lover? Do you know what my worst fear is? That 
having a lover or and someone sensible in my life is gonna like normalize me and 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 prompt me to be less weird isn't that awful what a scary scary thing to even think about <laughs> So, so be it. Whatever will be, will be. Um, yeah, de definitely don't want to compromise my weirdness for anybody. All right. So anyways, what do the trees want to talk about today? Because that's all I got and it ain't pff, worth even talking about. <sighs> that is just definitely how I feel. So I'm definitely like in the fallow feeling. I feel like I don't have much to offer. But yet, you know, it's like... There's just part of me that keeps on going because I have nothing else to do with myself. So anyways, what do the trees want to talk about today? That's what I'm going to shuffle and ask as I shuffle again. Maybe I'll clear the deck here. You can clear your deck <clears throat> by tapping it or hitting it three times with your knuckles or palm. So I clear the deck of negativity, pretty much my own negativity. I clear the deck of old rubbish and I ask genuinely I think I will spend some time with some trees today not just the ones in my yard but I think I'll walk this afternoon when it warms up down to the happy stream there's this one tree that I really connected with last week and I loved leaning on it and what was really interesting to me is like if I needed to hide out right like I literally this tree is big enough to cover me like if I'm got my back to the path you know I'm on that the other side of the tree um somebody looking down in that clearing wouldn't know that I was down there they wouldn't unless they saw the hemp smoke billowing around the tree <laughs> yeah I might go hang out with that tree today all right so what do the trees want to talk about today I just took a sip of marshmallow root water. I have marshmallow root water in front of me. I have burdock root tea, which I I took a sip too early and burnt my mouth. Isn't this a good podcast so far? All right, so what do the trees want to talk about today? I know I'm shuffling like just like I've never shuffled cards before. Okay. <clears throat> Hocus, pocus, focus. Open, open, open. What do the trees want to talk about today? What are our tree guides? Give us a topic today. What do you want to talk about today? What do the trees want to talk about today? Good time to breathe deep. Okay. Flourish. It's reversed. <laughs> it's upside down. Flourish, reversed. Okay, so we're like maybe not flourishing this week. What happens when we're not flourishing? On the top is be open. Uh, it is also reversed, so maybe we're not being very open. And on the bottom is action. And it's upright. So the trees are like, you're really not flourishing this week. You're not even hardly being open, even when you think you are. And for the love of God, could you just fucking do something? Like, could you go juice some celery? Could you take your B vitamins? Could you, could you get up off your sorry ass? But I actually want to sit on my sorry ass this week more and more so I can read my books. So now that I got the Plant Spirit Oracle... It has a great book with it. I got the Eckhart Tolle book from the library. It has it has my attention. I got a whole other stack of books up there. There's a fiction book that I told my lover I would read as he's supposed to be reading the book I gave him, which he hasn't even opened it yet. Um, yeah, there's a lot of reading material. But yeah, some type of action. And action needs to be taken. Hmm. I'm going to leave it with just these three trees, though, because that gives us enough direction. The trees want to talk about when we're not flourishing, when we're obviously in a time of fallow, kind of like this new burdock. Yeah, like, but it's okay. Like, we don't need to flourish all the time. We need the time of fallow. We really, really do. 
what happens when the cells in the body don't take time to chill out, right? They uh, multiply too much. And then that's a problem. So, yeah, when we're not flourishing, when we are kind of closed down, when we're not really open to much, um, there does come a point that it is time to take some maybe action, inspired action. Though it has to be inspired, or else what's the point? I don't know. It's like my Wednesdays yesterday. Like, oh, I did a lot of action yesterday. Was it inspired? Not exactly sure. Um, but it's just it's Wednesday, so I clean. I would like I'm like a robot. I'm like wash the house Wednesday. Beep boop. Time to vacuum. Mm -mm. Time to do the wabbit cages. Mm -mm. Like I just do them, right? Like, like action can be pretty meaningless. I'm going back after that burdock root tea. It's finally <clears throat> safe-ish. I think it's safe to drink. It's so interesting to see my two mason jars in front of me because the burdock root is really brown and the marshmallow root is like creamy yellow. It's not yellow. It's just yellow. It's like a creamy yellow color. It's not clear water anymore. There's definitely something in it. Um, so yeah, I don't really have much. I'm going to go right into the Wisdom of Trees Oracle to kind of see. I kind of just feel like one card from this, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see if we have a clear, because there's a space. The way I lay these three cards, there's actually a, a space. Well, it's not actually perfect because these cards are too wide, but there could be a space for one card or whatever. I don't even care. Um, flourish, we're not, be open, we're not, action, we need to take it, but what, what action to become more flourishing, fertilize our soil a bit, a little bit of recovery, a little bit of rest, be open to what's coming through, be open to the messages, even if they suck ass, it's true, it is true, okay, so the deck just chopped itself up. So I guess I'll go with what's on top and bottom. <laughs> More reversals. We have Juniper. I've never pulled that card before. And Pomegranate reversal. Now what I love right now, just visually, is the action tree. Oh my god, this is hilarious. There's two more cards on my lap. I just put the deck away and there's two more cards on my lap which is the olive tree and the sweet orange. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so I guess we're getting four fucking cards. Okay, that's hilarious that I literally did not see them on my lap until I put my hands on my lap and I'm like, what's on my lap? Two more cards, honey. Two more cards, okay. Anyways, back to what I was saying. The action tree is this gorgeous navy, electric navy blue color, which matches the starry night sky and pomegranate. So pomegranate and juniper are reversed. There are stars in juniper too. Now what this says to me right off the bat is that the stars are not aligned right now. Two reversals with starry nights. It's like the stars, they are, of course they are where they're supposed to be, but they are not lined up for you right now. Um, and sometimes that happens. And that's when we, that's when we are, that's when we're in our time of fallow. That's when we take our time of rest. That's when we recover from our time of action, right? And then we wait we wait until astrologically it's time. We wait until we are in alignment. We wait. We wait until the divine timing is right. So pomegranate and juniper, two starry night skies reversed. Okay. And then we have at the bottom, right underneath, sweet orange and olive which are a okay, sweet orange, that's obviously sweet, but the olive card is also very, very sweet because there's an owl in it. And I actually don't know if that's a real owl or a, a wooden owl. 
I think it might be real, but it could also just be a wooden statue. And there's a seashell and some type of a teapot, kind of. And a little vase with flowers and a white feather and some black olives. And so the olive leaf and the orange leaf kind of look similar a little bit when they're beside each other like this. And there's three orange, sweet oranges in the other card. So are you hungry? <laughs> because we have juniper berries, pomegranate seeds, sweet oranges, and olives. We're having a feast here. Maybe like our first action will be to eat, to eat. And I really haven't eaten this actually that much this week. Like I keep every night, I'm like, I'll eat tomorrow, I'll eat tomorrow. You know, like I have all this food that needs cooked up, whether into soup or, um, yeah, just a lot of stuff in the fridge that's like, are you gonna waste more food? Uh, let's eat it, but I just haven't really had like an appetite. I don't know. All right, let's go back up to the top. I want to see, I want to see what Flourish says in the little book by uh, Soul Trees, uh, Allison Williams Yee. Flourish says, beautiful things are happening and growing within and around you. Which, FYI, we did do a podcast yesterday called Manifest More Beauty. And uh, this is coming in reverse. <laughs> so <laughs> I guess we didn't pay attention yesterday. Um, visualize yourself thriving in the area of your life you would like to expand. Thought before form. Ooh, thought before form. Okay, that resonates greatly. Um, because if we're not flourishing, well, let's check ourselves. What type of energy are we putting towards our life or a specific area of our life, thought before form. Uh, there's a lot you can do to turn this card around. There's a lot you can do to start flourishing. There's a lot of actions you can take, right? Uh, so that's good. Let's see what Be Open says. Be open, be open to new ideas, opportunities, and people extend yourself and share your own feelings thoughts and ideas so if we haven't been maybe it's time to do that and action says take inspired action to reach your goals it is time to begin Ugh, sounds like work to me you guys sounds like work all right so these four trees that we have now from the wisdom of trees oracle by jane struthers Three out of four of them have a red border, a red maroon wine colored border, which is the flowers, the fruits, and the seed. So we have three power cards. We have three power cards, and then one of them is, has a green border, which is wisdom. So three power, one wisdom. So let's do the wisdom one first, since Juniper is... <clears throat> It's uh, the one that has a green border compared to the three other ones that have the red border. Mm. I love burdock root. All right, so Juniper is spirit realms, and this is reverse, so I'm just gonna jump right down to the reversal, the inverse meaning. It says, be on your guard because not everyone around you is as well-meaning as they seem. Oh God. Although you should not be too suspicious or wary, you must nevertheless be choosy about who you trust and who you confide in at the moment. <sighs> Can we just sit here with blank face for a minute? Because like, don't you just hate it when you hear shit like this? <laughs> because you already knew it. All right, fine. Uh, juniper, juniper. For centuries, the juniper has been regarded in many cultures as one of the trees that act as the gatekeepers between the mortal and spiritual worlds, keeping them apart and guarding against evil influences. It was common practice to leave gifts for local nature spirits at the base of juniper trees Juniper berries have many uses, 
Their bitter flavor is an essential ingredient in gin, and they are also used in sauces and stuffings. They have powerful healing qualities too, especially for kidney and urinary problems. So, yeah. This is an excellent time to investigate any form of psychic work that you feel drawn to. So maybe perhaps the action that we might take is in the right way up message. Provided you are acting with the best of intentions for everyone concerned and that you ensure you are psychically protected. All right, so let's chat with the Deva, the Juniper Deva. She's coming in today to like basically say, watch your ass, watch your back. You don't need to tell everybody everything. And uh, yeah, if you feel like somebody might take away from your strangeness and weirdness, right? That part of you that is able to connect with spirit. Why would you even jeopardize that? Why would you even think that would ever be a good idea? The world doesn't need more normal people. The world needs weird ass, crazy old hags. All right. So Juniper Deva says, I have strong connections with this spirit world and I can protect you when you want to contact these realms. I will act as a benevolent intermediary. So call on me whenever you need my protection and guidance. And yeah, I love that like there is that reminder that when you are doing your spiritual work, maybe make sure your intentions are pure. Make sure you are coming at it with the highest good of yourself, of others, of the all. Just your your energy says a lot to you. Make sure that you are psychically protected. Make sure that you're not just letting energy connect. Make sure you're not just letting yourself connect with any energy um, in the spirit realm and in the physical realm as well because not everyone around you is as well meaning as they seem. I mean, even something like I want to connect with extraterrestrials. Well, guess what? Not everyone's got the best intentions for you. So I um, feel like I have to have to say that because we've got two starry, we've got stars in Jupiter, we've got stars in pomegranate. Um, I do feel like more people are going to get psychically open to connecting um, with extraterrestrials sooner or later. Um, yeah, so it's like make sure that you know your energy and make sure that you can sense other people's energies. Call on Jupiter to have your back. Um, and that's with any type of psychic, spiritual, non-physical work. So make sure that you are choosy about who you trust and who you confide in at the moment. So interesting, it's like we do want to be taking some action, but right away um, the trees are like, well, yeah, but don't just take action with anybody about anything. Be choosy. Be choosy. And pomegranate, it wants to talk about an inner journey. Pomegranate wants to, let's see what the inverse is. Tell us to stay focused on positive and constructive thoughts, right? So thought before form. Make sure that um, as we get ready to get out of this period of um, sort of fallow. Yeah, we're not flourishing so much. We're not really open. We do want to take action. Why? Because we want things to manifest. But first, we got to think more positively we got to be constructive with our thoughts. Do not let yourself be sidetracked or held back by fears and negative emotions. Trust that all will be well and that you are being guided in the perfect direction for you. So yeah, there's like a shooting star that is coming around the pomegranate that's opened up and you can see like it's a five petal star um you know uh when you slice through a pomegranate like that and so it's now it looks like it's shooting from the bottom to the top 
And if it kept going, its trajectory would get, be to go up to the next card up, the action card. So it's like, just trust that you've got this navigational system. Just trust that, you, you know, the stars are in alignment, even when we joke and say that the stars are not in alignment. They're still in alignment. There's still a hand at play here that is much greater than we could even fathom. So you are being guided. You have your guides. You have your angels. You have your fairies. You have your extraterrestrials. You have your higher self. You have your deities. You have your goddesses. You have your loved ones. You have your ancestors. You have anyone that you want. Whatever label you want to put on your guides, you can do that. It's all the same energy, though. Um, so the ancient Greeks associated the pomegranate with death and rebirth. And its fruit features features in several myth, myths. One, the most notable concerns Persephone, who was lured into the underworld by Hades, who tricked her into eating the pomegranate seeds. That, that meant she had to spend each winter with him, a time when nature went into mourning for her. Her re-emergence into the world each spring allowed plants to grow again. The bark of the tree and the rind, seeds, and juice of the fruits are all used in Ayurveda. So yeah, it's like, use your intuition and instincts, and this is the upright message, to tune into the major themes of your life. So yeah, as we go within, meditation will help you still your mind so that inspiration can strike. And creative visualization will help you plan your life's path. So yeah, I feel like it is, a, it is definitely time to listen to that inner guidance. Yeah, listening to your own wisdom. Not what somebody else is telling you to do. Not what actions other people are trying to motivate you to do. Don't worry about being motivated. Wait until you are inspired to do something. The pomegranate deva says, I am the fruit of the underworld and I will guide you on your inner journey as you enter the rich realms of your unconscious. I can help you to interpret your dreams and to gain a deeper understanding of the world around you. And I know even from my own personal experience last night, a quiet evening with myself, like allowing myself to get weird, um, to dive into realms that you just can't do if you're with someone else. Um, it really was such an amazing connection and an amazing blessing. And I have these aha messages, these, these things come through when I'm able to do that. And I'm so thankful to have time, downtime, yeah downtime, rest time, recovery time, fallow time, unflourishing time to do that. So yeah, thank you for all these guy, these tree guides coming in saying, yeah, let us take you into this, into the unconscious, into the subconscious. Let us get you in a place of kind of surrendering and of knowing that you are on, you are being guided um, and let things just kind of work out the way they need to, right? Use your thoughts, use your meditation, use your creative imagination, and yeah, thoughts before form. So get, I think the actions that we need to take right off the bat is really just more mental, mental thought actions. Whew, yeah. I like that. Let's take a break, chug some tea, do our affirmations, and then we'll see what Sweet Orange and Olive have to say. There we go. Affirmations are good, especially if you can say them and believe them. All right, so now, <laughs> no comment. Do you, did you, how many of those do you believe to be true about yourself? I don't know. Uh, sweet orange and olive. Sweet orange is all about zest and olive is all about sanctity, which I had to look up, of course. 
sanctity. Sanctity means holiness of life and character, godliness, a quality or a state of being holy or sacred. Sanctity. Yes. Okay, there we go. Sanctity. Um, it's almost nine o'clock. Good Lord. Um, let's talk about sweet orange. See what sweet orange has to say. Uh, now these are both upright. Okay, so yeah, we're getting some thoughts going on. We're getting some guidance. We're going into our deep places. We're, we're just really allowing everything to unfold the way it's supposed to. And Sweet Orange says, your enthusiasm and energy are infectious. <sighs> Blank face again. Really? Maybe it, they will be. Maybe it will be once I, once I get over this, whatever the hell it is. They inspire others to follow your shining example. And they also fuel your own desire to reach new heights and discover exactly what you are capable of achieving. All right, yeah. So one thing I'm noticing right now is the color of the oranges matches some of the colors of the flourish branches that are up there. So it's like, yeah, it is our natural desire to flourish to reach higher heights, to do better, to expand, to grow. I mean, yeah, like some of it is ego, just wanting to outdo itself, but also just like even on a less ego level, like our true nature as a soul is one of expansion. That's why we came here. That's why we fucking came here, to expand our souls. So yeah, I mean, Sweet Orange is right. Um, we are going to always keep refueling our own desire. So during these times of fallow and kind of unflourishing, like blah, 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 they actually do motivate us to get our asses out of it. It's this contrast of like, ugh, that um, makes us want to sit up a little taller and get a smile on our face and actually genuinely feel good. Like if we don't have the contrast, of knowing what we don't want, then we're not really motivated to go after what we do want. So let's talk to the Deva. She says, I am here to add zest and sweetness to your life. The fragrance of my flowers will lift your spirits and remind you of the beauty of life and my luscious fruit will feed you helping you to live each day to the full. F-U-L-L. -L. <laughs> Although F-O-O-L might also apply. Um, so yeah, maybe we need to tap into our aromatherapy, get a little sweet orange in the air, see if we can't liven ourselves up, and then maybe we'll find some inspired action that way, or we'll just help get us out of these reversals. Um, I'm going to read the story. The orange is a beautiful but tender plant and in temperate climates was grown in glass houses known as orangeries as a display of the owner's wealth. A story from Spain tells of Mary Joseph and the baby Jesus finding an orange tree that was guarded by an eagle. Mary asked the tree for an orange. The eagle promptly fell asleep and the Holy Family received three oranges. And there's three oranges on the card. Oranges are high in vitamins and minerals, but are treated with caution in traditional Chinese medicine because they are thought to increase hyperactivity in children and aggravate skin conditions. Well, my daughter cannot eat oranges anymore, I guess, without her lips swelling up, so that there may be some truth to that. So I'm just gonna read the inverse message because I read the both messages for the other cards and uh, we might be able to relate to this. It says, are you feeling flat, bored, or listless? <laughs> Blank face. Inject more color into your life by seeking out interesting people, setting yourself some intriguing challenges, getting involved, in life enhancing activities and spending plenty of time 
in the fresh air. So if you feel like dog shit, do something today. Take some action today to feel better. That's what our tree guys are suggesting. Hang out with, the, with them. Get outside. Uh, call your most interesting friend that will tolerate you. <laughs> And um, yeah, set yourself a little bit of a challenge in your own life. Get involved in something good for you. Something good for you. And I love that all of comes right up on that because it's like, yeah, get holy, bitch. Get your sanctity. Get your holiness, right? Um, why don't you focus on your spiritual practice? Okay, I want you to focus on that instead of this lack of energy, this flat boredness that you're feeling. So the olive tree says that the message is to create a small area in your home that is sacred to you. Decorate it with special objects and spend time there each day either sitting quietly in contemplation or meditating. So here's another message to meditate. Honor this space and keep it special. I have several places like that. Like, do I really need to make another one? Um, see what I mean today? I suck today. Uh, so the inverse message says, stop being so critical of yourself. <laughs> Stop being so critical of yourself. Continually finding fault with your actions. Appearance. Oh, you should see me today. Oh, my God. Um, or words is draining your energy. I know. I hate myself for doing this to myself. If you always do the very best that you can, you will have no reason to chastise yourself. Yeah. All right, so the Deva from the Olive says, the Olive branch is a universal symbol of peace. So let me show you how to create a greater sense of harmony in your own life and to invest all your actions with sanctity and significance so yeah this is why I'm trying to just tear up just tear through this Eckhart Tolle book because I can feel myself needing more sanctity in my life needing to release the ego like this lover is just nothing more than what my ego wanted and now my ego wants my lover to want me right and I'm just struggling. I mean, and I know that's not the place that I need to be in. Ooh. So yeah, I need to be more reverent. I need to meditate more. I need to pretty much like redefine like how much of him I'm going to let in my life. And not even really in my life because like uh, he's not really like in my life all that often, but he's in my head all the time. I think that's what's pissing me off. Like maybe that's what I need to, to, um, <clears throat> to address right now because it's distracting me from, from doing some really beautiful things. Now, granted, not completely because last night I had this amazing experience, like having this bath where I was like super high, I won't lie. Um, but yeah, like I was chanting and singing and getting these messages and really enjoying myself and really allowing myself to communicate with my body, with my form, um, and allowing things to move through me. And it was really, really good. But like, I felt like there is this desire within me to, like Juniper said, like, um, to protect that to protect my weirdness, to protect my my um, things that I do by myself, to protect my sacred space. Um, and that even if, if that's just mental space, it still needs to be protected. And I need to like watch 
who and what I let in there on all levels. So yeah, Olive Tree is amazing. Um, I mean, it's been considered a special tree. Um, the olive tree literally occupies a central position in Greek mythology because a special tree, believed to be the mother tree of all olives, was planted in the Erechtholium within the Acropolis in Athens. Remarkably, what is thought to be a descendant of that tree still grows there. The oil pressed from the original tree's fruits were was burnt continually in a concentrated lamp placed next to the tree and the olive oil is still a consti constituent of holy oil in a variety of religions. The medicinal uses of olive oil include lowering blood pressure and reducing abdominal spasms. So olive is saying please be nice to you, stop being critical, stop finding fault with your actions. We got the action tree up there, okay? Because it's draining your energy to be so judgmental of yourself. Okay, so just do your best. Know that you are doing your best, uh, whether regardless of what situation you're in, whether you're flourishing or not, you're doing your best. Um, and yeah, you don't need to chastise yourself. So have more sanctity in your life. Create a small area in your room. Um, decorate it, meditate, contemplate, honor this space. Keep it special, honor the space within you, around you, above you. Um, have more zest in your life. Um, be following the things that you're passionate about. Uh, what else did these guys say? It's all about your inner journey, Pomegranate says. Your inner journey, listen to your intuition. Meditate, 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 so that inspiration can strike. Thought before form, the creative visualization will help you plan your life's path, stay focused and positive. Only be thinking constructive thoughts, catch yourself. If you didn't like that thought, if it don't feel good, if it's something that you don't wanna manifest, call yourself out on that bullshit. Do not let yourself be sidetracked or held back by fears and negative emotions. Y'all, we gotta trust. We ought to trust that everything will be all right. We are being guided. We're in the perfect place, the perfect time. We're headed in the perfect direction for us. Maybe not for somebody else, but for us, everything is in alignment. The stars are lined up, whether you think they are or not. Um, and the stars are lined up absolutely for us to be taking more and more journeys into the spirit realms. Make sure you're protected. Make sure you're psychically um, intact before you do that call on juniper juniper wants to hold your hand that tree guide wants to hang out it came in today to tell us to be on guard kind of because not everyone is as well meaning as they seem but we don't need to become suspicious or anything we just need to be a little more choosy about who we trust and who we confide in right now okay because there's a spirit world that wants to contact you and Juniper can be the benevolent intermediary. So call on Juniper before you um, do any type of psychic work that you're drawn to and make sure that anytime we're doing any type of psychic energetic work, we're doing it in the highest good for ourselves and the highest good of others and the highest good of the all. beautiful lovelies this affirmation minute is brought to you by our beautiful herb of the week burdock shout out to my sponsors and patrons i dedicate all these amazing affirmations to you baby i am strong i detoxify my life i surrender to the process of deep change i see problems as solutions I release what is no longer needed and allow positivity to fill its space. I am open to the blessings that come my way and find inner contentment each day. Yes, baby, I am strong. I detoxify my life. I surrender to the process of deep change. I see problems as solutions. 
I release what is no longer needed and allow positivity to fill its space. And I am open to the blessings that come my way. And I find inner contentment each day. And so it is. All right. (laughs) So I just got a message. It's funny. When Juniper's like, you should be watching your back and then look who messages you. Okay, here we go. Lame, lame, lame. I'm a tired. I'm t- I'm a tired of everybody's lameness and their lame ass excuses. Literally lame. That is a big bloated fucking word for me. Lame. <laughs> Wait, did I just end the last segment by like saying like in the highest good of everyone and the highest good of the all, and then and then there's me like instantly like laming everybody all right so one came off the bottom it's the ash we have had ash before and on the top is honeysuckle yeah everyone can just suck it yeah all right there we go um so let's see what ash has to say i can't remember now what ash said but i remember taking a picture of this is this all about like balance Let's see. Don't depend on me to remember anything. Um, so yeah, Orange is all like, yay, your energy is so infectious and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, really? <laughs> so Ash is all about the microcosm and the macrocosm, reflections, mirrors, uniting inner and outer worlds as above, so below. So yeah, I mean... How can we expect our outer reality to transform and be beautiful if our inner reality, blah, right? If we're thinking negative thoughts, if we're calling everybody lame, well, that's probably what's going to manifest outward, right? So the ash indicates um, that we need to dive in to our own inner wisdom. Sound familiar? It should because all the other trees also said that too. Dive deep, dive deep into our inner wisdom. It is here that we meet the mystery. This is the place of enchantment and magic. We have the influence of water and the magic of water sprites and mermaids. We follow the cycles of the moon We drift into dreams and visions and reverie. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna like stay in my own world today. That's how I feel. That's why it's such a struggle for me to do anything some days. Like I just, and like tomorrow, like um, we're supposed to uh, have the live stream, which will be on YouTube from now on uh, because that will make my life easier. Um, Sorry, Instagram, just, I love it, but like it's also owned by Facebook, and I hate Facebook. I hate Inst- I hate YouTube too, but at least like if I live stream over on YouTube, if anybody even wants to keep doing that, I don't even care today. Hopefully tomorrow I'm more like a sweet orange instead of um, a reversed juniper today. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, YouTube tomorrow for the live stream. Um, if I even feel like, I mean, I can shuffle cards and get messages even if I'm not in a good place. But yeah, I mean, it's like, I would like to be the sweet orange. I would, genuinely, I would like to feel zest and excitement for what I'm doing. I'm not. All right, so when you get ash in a reading, expect to connect with your own inner tree, which represents your center and connects you with your inner world and your outer world. So here we will experience as above, so below. This is a place of great guidance. It links you to universal knowledge and can help you understand yourself, your thoughts, feelings, and actions. And that's a theme for me too. It's like, yeah, like understanding myself, getting to know myself, becoming myself, that really is what I need to be focusing like everything on right now. So blessings on blessings for these fuckers that just keep dropping out of my life. 
Um, you're not supposed to be here right now because I'm just supposed to be hanging out with me. So quit messaging me all the time. All right, so to access this knowledge, pay attention to your dreams, seek communication with your higher self and with divinity. So that sanctity message is coming in again from Olive. Follow your intuition and the dictates of your higher heart and mind. And yeah, you know what? If all this seems like too much, then just go back to the top of this spread and take a fucking nap. And don't flourish for a little bit. Don't be open to doing any type of actions in the outside world. Just chill out and meditate. Get high if you need to. Just go within. Shut down your brain. Um, sure, you can take a walk in nature to do that too, but some of us, we really need to go crazy. Um, I feel like this is definitely an invitation to just lose your mind a little bit, go within, allow yourself to be directed, surrender, surrender so much into that space that it becomes a holy experience for you. So the ash is more is less about doing and more about being. So it's freaking hilarious to me that's on the same side of the spread as the action tree. Okay, because ash is saying, yeah, but before you take any inspire action, it's more about being, about noticing, about paying attention to what is showing up in your life. Your outer world reflects your inner world. If you see things that you're not happy with, begin to make changes. So before you take action, make sure you know why and what you're doing. Changes within will reflect in the outer world. Changes without will reflect in the inner world. You're also encouraged to participate in ritual and ceremony, which is adorable because it's right beside the olive, who encourage us to set up another freaking freaking temple another um shrine another area sacred another sacred space maybe redo your sacred space if you are immersed in grief reach out to your community for help so that you don't drown in your own sorrow know that this will pass too on the other hand if you are involved in a project you may have to put in long hours and seclusion to complete your work you might need to block out the world for some time. If so, you may feel lonely, but it is worth it to bring your work to fruition. Perhaps it is time to help someone else. This is often a great balm for one's own sadness. I don't know about you, but I'm like tired of helping people. Embrace your feminine side and your intuition, your deep sympathetic nature, your empathy, and your ability to feel. Choose healing and spiritual experience over indulgence and escapism. I feel like the tree guides are like, could you stop it? <laughs> they know I'm being difficult. That's why I got the be open tree reversed. Because there's all these great messages and I just don't care. There's all this great energy coming at me and I'm like... We, we sleep now. We sleep all day. We decide, we decide not to do anything. I mean, is that really what you want to do, girl? Not do anything with your life today because, I don't know, some idiots rubbed you the wrong way? Or do you want to actually connect within and genuinely take action to change your inner, to change your outer, to change your outer, to change your inner? All right, let's see what the message is from the ash tree, and then we'll finish with the honeysuckle. So let's just sink in here for a minute. Get out of our egos, get out of our minds, and just see what the ash spirit has to say to us. I am the stately ash. I have come to tell you that it is safe to dive into your interior world. Here you can receive guidance, healing, and assurance. 
If you find that you are not moving forward, try to practice patience and keep your intentions clear. Sometimes you are asked to wait for the perfect alignment between the right moment and what you desire. Check in. When you create a strong and loving field, you draw to you what it is you desire because like attracts like. Sometimes restraint is necessary as the universe lines up the building blocks for what you want to manifest. I am here to teach you patience and faith. Sometimes you are asked to mend fences or clean up your act before things can fall into place. Forgiving self and others is important. Try to find the time to help someone else. This is the best medicine for a broken heart. Wow. So there we have it. Clean up your act. <sighs> Clean up your act. Forgive everybody for being stupid humans. And yeah, if you want more, more lovely things around you, you got to be more lovely yourself. <laughs> Who's going back to bed with me? All right, here we go. Last card. It's a friggin' doozy. Well, they're all doozies here in this thing. Sorry for being so, so um, not uplifting today. But you know what? I just really, there's no reason for me to pretend or lie to myself and others. Tomorrow I'll probably be a hyper little hippie fairy feeling so good. But today... Uh, yeah, I am just going to hang out with Burdock Root today. I'm going to put some bookmarks in some books, see if I can pull out a nerdy podcast at some point, see if I can pull myself together at some point, clean up my act, clean up my thoughts, clean up my energy. But really, sometimes I just need to break down and go within and that all these tree guides are totally supporting me to do that. But this card that we're ending on, Number 23, Honeysuckle, is gorgeous. I mean, uh, it has like phoenix energy on it. It has transformation, flames, and light, and gorgeous, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Let's see what it has to say. Um, you know what, though? I never looked at Ash to see like what the guides were. Uh, like the totem for the ash is dolphin, mermaids, water sprites, the runes, Odin, three fates, the muse, oracle of Delphi was the ash tree. Okay, so then um, our totems for honeysuckle is lapwing, peewit, hummingbirds, moths, bees, the labyrinth, DNA, the deities and guides is Merlin, the crone or hermit, Archetype, medicine man, or woman. So that would that explains why when we were talking about Ash, it started talking about mermaids. I was like, what? <laughs> what are we talking about? All right. So the key words for honeysuckle that we're gonna end our hangout with the trees. Um, I really like that we can be any way we want to be with the trees. Um, they're the ones who wanted to talk about our bad mood. <laughs> They're the ones who wanted to talk about uh, the, all this. I mean, I'm just confirming. Yeah, I, I totally get this message. I do. I really do. Let's drink some marshmallow. All right. Honeysuckle. You're going to love this card. There's like these bursts of light above it. It's like incredible. I want to be the honeysuckle. Of all these cards, this is what, like, if if this is what we could aspire to, we'd be doing good. But 
the trees are like, yeah, so clean up your act. Okay, think better, feel better, go within, get your guidance. Get your guidance. Start to truly get that energy conjured within so that you can be this brilliant outside, right? And feel that way inside. I wouldn't even care if I looked that good. I would just love to feel better inside. So, <clears throat> excuse me. The key words are seeking, hidden secrets, the lantern that lights the path, the need to protect something important, soul, discovery, bringing light to the darkness. Ooh, bringing light to the darkness. Hidden treasure, illumination, clarity, restoration, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. The need to protect something important. So pomegranate. No, Juniper, and it's beside Juniper. Juniper had that same message. The gold at the end of the rainbow. It's beside, beside, it's beside the sweet oranges, right? Yellow gold. Um, yeah, I love this. <clears throat> so the honeysuckle represents hidden secrets that we are meant to discover. The winding ways of this vine represents the labyrinth and the pathway into the inner life. Every single freaking card today has told us to go within, just in case you missed that. The hermit or ancient medicine woman holds the lantern for us as we make our way into ourselves. Mm, making our way into ourselves. And that's like, just to interject my own personal bullshit here for a second, it's like, yeah, like how do I keep, inter how do I keep going within myself and still have a lover outside of me that's maybe not exactly on the same page? How do I keep on that? Do I even want to keep on that? And like, actually this week, like I made less effort and like nothing much has happened. So it's like, I really have to like, Make sure I'm not being delusional. Yeah. All right. But I've like just, I really want to sit with this because I feel like somebody's taken me by the cheeks. You know, like when I squish both your cheeks together, like, listen. And you look like a chubby fat kid because your lips are like this, squishing together with your cheeks. But, anyways, cause I feel like someone's like, my guy's like, could you just be aware could you wake up could you understand how important it is for you to keep on your journey for you to keep on being you don't normalize yourself in the least bit if he wants to get to know you then let him come here and see how weird you are <laughs> yeah because I've really only like hung out with him on his turf or publicly and I clean up when I go out publicly, I clean up, you know, like, and yeah, I was on my best behavior. I feel like that's not me being authentic to either one of us. All right. So anyways, where were we? Okay. The ancient medicine woman, the hermit holds the lantern for us as we make our way into ourselves. There is a store of great treasure and knowledge there for us to discover if we will but begin the journey. We are encouraged to heal that which has been denied or repressed. We are invited to proceed with caution and enlist our spiritual helpers so that they can light the darkness and illuminate the path of enlightenment. So yeah, I mean, yeah, use caution as we're going into these realms. But um, yeah, as long as you always like ask any spirit or guides, like, are you of the highest good? Are you of the highest good? Are you of the highest good? Like ask three times. We talked about this last year with the laws of the universe, with all the ho episodes in 2019. You know, when we're working with energies, um, ask three different times. And yeah, use your own discernment use your own discernment and go within and trust your guidance. So honeysuckle in a reading has to do with the search for inner knowledge. 
This flowering vine helps us discern false from true and choose that which is worthwhile. This wood vine is an ally. It provides protection and reminds you to stay true to yourself. Although you may find, dis find many distractions as you travel your path, this vine symbolizes a focused journey into the self and the soul. It signifies your spiritual journey and encourages you to keep learning, expressing your true nature, and evolving. Honeysuckle may also come to let you know it is time to shine the light for others so that they too can look into the mysteries and discover the treasure of their inner lives. By offering encouragement and insight, you may bring light to others' darkness and empower them to embark on their own inner journey. Yeah, it's like the only journey that is worth anything. Your own inner journey. Go there. Make no mistake about it. Don't delay. You need to go there. All right, so anywho's. Discovery is emphasized. Be willing to learn about and explore your own inner world. See yourself as an archaeologist, investigating the layers of your own inner world. There is much hidden treasure to find there. Although you may dig up hidden things that disturb you, <laughs> you also bring light into the dark, hidden places. And light brings the healing. You also reconnect with your own gifts and talents and empower your own expression. Remember that it is your environment that affects the DNA. Love, light and love encourage the healthy patterns within your genes to be activated. Learn to apply positive thoughts, feelings, and actions to old habits of negativity. Become responsible for creating an environment of joy and health. So once again, thought before form. Once again, positivity. Once again, <laughs> actions to remove the negativity and get in a more positive experience and yes yeah, sweet orange is here with all the positivity we would want but it's just saying yo if you've always been looking outside of yourself that is the negative and the positive would be going within going within so yeah pretty much like after this reading i think we should all just go meditate <laughs> go within um wow and then yeah you can be a shining light for others if you have that to offer um you're sharing your experiences with other people lets people know that they too um can get feeling a little bit better all right wow we still have to hear from the honeysuckle we still have to let her blow us away. Are you ready? <laughs> oh my God. Thanks for hanging out. Ugh. I've, my, I've had my hoodie up this whole time too. Oh yeah. I'll post a picture on, on Herb Oracle because when my lover messaged me, he said, Hi, hello, beautiful. How's it going? So I just snapped a picture of myself. Even though he has like, you really cannot pick up on the fact that I'm completely annoyed with him today. I kind of like that about him. <laughs> Ugh, lame. All right. We ready? <clears throat> we ready? Let's bring in honeysuckle. Oh, take a deep breath and put out your arms. <sighs> Be open to this. Be open. I am the honeysuckle, and I offer you the lovely scent 
of my flowers. I attract beauty and offer sweet nectar for the hummingbirds and the bees. I am here to remind you of your own sweetness and your own ability to attract good things into your life. You attract beauty when you choose beautiful thoughts, feelings, actions, and activities. You are growing new things. Allow yourself to develop naturally. Cultivate your inner garden with seeds of love and intention. Follow the spiraling pattern that I create as I grow and know that this is how you too grow. Follow the spiral into your center and out again. What is hidden can be found. Pay attention to synchronicities and dreams. These are your allies in discovering your own inner knowing and true essence. At the center of your heart lie desires and dreams and aspirations. Great treasure is available within you. Bring these inner resources to the light so they can be shared. Bring them forward for activation. They hold the secret to your soul's purpose and your spiritual journey. <laughs> uh, where the fuck was Honeysuckle yesterday when we were manifesting more beauty? I felt like she should have been there. All right, so Honeysuckle is saying, if you want more beautiful things in your life, then you need to vibrate beauty. You need to be beauty. You need to be whatever it is you want to attract, right? Um, you are growing new things. So cultivate that inner garden. Go within. There are treasures inside of you. There's dreams and desires and aspiration. So bring all your inner resources. Bring all your inner wisdom. Bring the things that you find on your inner journeys as you peel back the layers again and again. Bring them to the light so that they can be activated and they can be shared, right? Because that is our purpose, um, truly, not just to live like a life of solitude and hermitness, you know? Even the hermit is carrying the lantern, showing others the way. Maybe not his way, maybe not her way, maybe not their way, but showing everyone that they can follow their own way. You can do your own thing. You can live your own life. You can go within and find your own wisdom. So thank you so much, Honeysuckle. Thank you, Ash. Thank you, Olive. Thank you, Sweet Orange. Thank you, Juniper. And thank you, Pomegranate. And thank you for the trees for bringing up this message of flourishing and openness and action. Kind of that we weren't. I get it. But it really was like, yo, you're not really doing a good job. That's what the trees said. But here's what you can do. You can take your ass and go within. Okay? <laughs> I don't know. Try to figure that one out. But you can go inside and connect with your guides, connect with your wisdom, connect with your sanctity, connect with your sacredness, connect with your inner zest. What do you want? Quit worrying about everybody else right now. This is about you, honey. This is about you connecting with you. And once you start feeling beautiful and lively and connected and sacred, guess what? That's what's going to manifest in your world and that's what you're going to attract to you. <sighs> so let that be the lesson for you. 
Thank you, Tree Guides. Thank you so, so much. I really, really needed to hear all of that.